Hey fam, thanks so much for coming back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So let's talk about emotional adultery. Let's talk about what it is and a why it is a no-no. And yes, it is considered cheating. Stay tuned. So let's talk about what emotional adultery is, ladies and gentlemen. It is intimacy with anybody of the opposite sex outside of your marriage or unfaithfulness of your heart or friendship with the opposite sex that has progressed into places that you know it should not be or should have gone. Let's talk about the four ways and why it is actually dangerous to be in an emotional affair, emotional um, <laughs> adultery with another person outside of your household. Number one, it actually heightens the chances that a physical affair can occur because you're innocently sharing personal things, at least in the beginning. You're innocently sharing personal things that is occurring in your relationship with this outside party, which most of the time is the person of the opposite sex because you're feeling comfortable enough sharing these things with them. Again, it starts off innocently and because you both are sharing the not so good things about your relationships with each other, you guys are starting to build a connection with one another. This outside party, maybe they're married, maybe they're not, who cares? The point is that you as the married person are now starting to build this emotional adulterous relationship with another person outside of your relationship, outside of your marriage. Again, it heightens the chances of you guys moving from platonic friendship to moving into the hotel bedroom. Uh, the second thing that it does, it actually further destroys your current relationship, i.e. your marriage. Because you're not working on the issues at home. You're only bashing and discussing your partner and the issues with the other person. Because the other person is feeling, um, they're looking good to you more and more because you guys are not arguing you're not having to deal with this person day in and day out and so the more you have to go home to your actual wife or to your husband you're feeling like ah uh, do i really want to be here no the other party is starting to look even more attractive to you where you feel like you want to even spend more time with this person again heightening the chances that a sexual affair will and can occur as well so again the second thing is that it further destroys your current relationship i.e. your marriage that you're in the third thing to think about is that it actually continues to pollute your current relationship as well because again you're looking at the other person with these rose colored glasses on again you're not having to deal with the day in and day out with that person you're only dealing with them in snippets 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 of your life you guys might be talking on the phone a little bit too much and again, you're sharing all of this personal information or the things that you feel that your spouse or partner should be doing that they're not doing. And now this other person is able to gather information, whether they're gathering it or not to use it against you. It kind of goes that way in the end. So it further is polluting your current relationship when you're having this emotional tie outside of your household. The fourth and final thing to actually think about when it comes to an emotional, adulterous relationship is that it is hard to clean up. It is possible, but it will take a lot of hard work to get rid of this person and also to build the trust back up in your own relationship. Because most of the time, we get caught uh, with these emotional relationships and when your partner is asking you questions about the person then you have to feel like you have to defend your relationship or this is just my friend and you don't want to let them go if you don't want to let your friend go there's probably something more going on than you even realize or maybe you're realizing it is but you just you're still holding on to that person and if you're especially people who are in a marriage if you're in a marriage you don't cleave to other people outside of your relationship. If that was the case, you should have just went with them. 
You're supposed to cleave to your spouse. And so inviting anybody else into your relationship, family, friends, it doesn't matter who it is, that's where the issues and trouble happen. So I'm definitely going to turn this into a series. I have several other videos that talk about the emotional adultery and why it is actually wrong to do, how to clean it up, what you can do. I got a couple other videos following this one. So definitely go ahead and give me thumbs up if you like this content. Of course, of course, think about subscribing because here at I Love Me Me, I'm supplying you guys all of the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships where you don't have to be an emotional adulterer person. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Deuces.